We were working with a neighbor to get a colony of feral cats spayed or neutered. Two of them had kittens recently. To try and keep them safe, they'd been raising both litters deep underneath a front porch. We decided to try and scoop the kittens first before trapping the adults. Yeah, I found them. Because if we removed the moms from the site and were unable to get the kittens, they would have no way to secure food. Alright, I'm gonna start handing these guys out. And I'll send you I'll send you a photo. The kittens are around four and a half weeks old. Although they were very scared, they're still young enough for us to be able to gently grab them. I have one more in here. Kittens who are slightly older, closer to six, seven, or eight weeks old, should be trapped. If you grab an older kitten, you risk introducing a fear of people and hands that will make socialization much more difficult. No kitten rescue project is complete without sterilizing all of the adults in the colony. The neighbor has been withholding food for the last 24 hours, so they walked right into our drop trap. These are the two moms. Our plan was to keep the families together for several weeks until the kittens had fully weaned. Unfortunately, both of these cats had recently ingested rat poison and they passed away shortly after being trapped. Looking back at the footage, this explains why we saw blood everywhere underneath the porch. It's a tragic ending for those two moms and yet another reason why cats don't belong outside. We released the two remaining feral adults and spoke to neighbors about safer alternatives to rat poison. Kittens are incredibly fragile creatures. Many don't survive their first few months outside. This is Lark. He had an upper respiratory infection with fever, painful swollen joints, and a low appetite caused by Khaleesi virus. We provided pain medication, fluids, and an appetite stimulant, along with soft foods that wouldn't hurt the ulcers in his mouth. After several weeks of round-the-clock care in isolation, he slowly began to bounce back. <laughs> and soon enough, he was able to rejoin the crew for meals, playtime, and naps. Although they were eating wet food just fine, the kittens still missed their moms, especially as they had an abrupt transition away from nursing. They loved this special blanket and would try to nurse and make biscuits on it all day. This is Finch. He had always been playful and energetic, but took an unexpected and severe turn for the worse. After bringing him and Lark in for testing and diagnosis, we learned that both kittens had FELV, 
or feline leukemia virus. In fact, all six kittens tested positive. And while we were processing this difficult news, Finch continued to crash. His condition worsened even as he received the absolute best medical care possible. Saying goodbye was difficult, but we know that his short life was filled with love. Our understanding of feline viruses, like FELV, has changed significantly over the last few years. Now we know the virus affects different cats in different ways. This crew is now healthy and strong and may need little more than regular vet visits to stay that way for the rest of their lives. FELV positive cats can live happy, healthy lives for much longer than is commonly understood. Recent studies indicate the median lifespan for a healthy FELV positive cat can be six years. They deserve the same life filled with love, playtime, and comfort as any other cat. Because tomorrow is never guaranteed for any of us. Caring for an FELV positive cat is pretty straightforward. They require regular vet visits, a nutritious diet, a clean indoor only environment, and lots of time for play and cuddles. The most common way FELV is transmitted is from mom to kittens, but to be safe, FELV positive cats should ideally be paired with other FELV positive cats, like Wren and Piper here who were paired together to live with a foster family that could give them lots of love and attention. Rin's foster parents didn't think of her as a cat with FELV. They saw a snuggler with a gorgeous coat, a loving sister, and a skilled acrobat. And Piper is always there to help tie your shoes or catch the feather thingy keeping his family safe at all costs. True love is unconditional, and we are not defined by our medical status. As the months pass by, Wren and Piper's parents realized they had already become a family. And we were happy to make the adoption official. So that leaves us with three amazing kittens who are still looking for their own forever home. This is Robin, the king of the flop and roll. This is Dove, an agent of chaos, who is also incredibly sweet when he wants to be. And you remember Lark, now a big and strong boy. Sorry Garfield, this is an FELV only party. Usually we like to make videos that celebrate a cat's rescue story and shows them relaxing in their new forever home. But because of their FELV diagnosis, it's been harder to make that happen for these three. Their adoption story has yet to be told. Most people just don't know about FELV and it sounds scary. So this crew wants you to know FELV cats are amazing too. They have tons of love to give. The only question is who will love them enough to look past something they were born with. When we first got started doing rescue and fostering work, I always worried that no one would be interested in adopting an older cat or one with special needs. 
But we learn there are plenty of special people too. Ones who know there's no greater joy in life than offering a loving home to the overlooked. Who understand that it's not about how much time we have, but what we do with it and who we choose to spend that time with. Um, all of them have eye situations. They don't look. We're getting to them in time. When rescuing cats from tough situations, we have no idea what's gonna happen next. And it doesn't matter. We make a commitment to give them the life they deserve. To learn more about adopting this crew or any FELV positive cat, see the link in the description. I have one more in here. Or if you'd like to help us make even more stories like this possible, please consider becoming a monthly supporter. Hey buddy. We'll keep working to sterilize community cats through trap, neuter, return, while training and helping our neighbors fix the cats on their block. Go! And over time, as fewer unwanted kittens are born outside, each will have a better chance to enjoy the life they all deserve.